Hi, I'm Ernie Zor, and this is Pure to Spring Software's 48th Frequently Asked Question video. It's about making recovery disks. And whether you have a new or an old computer, it's smart to have a recovery disk. Sometimes these things are called rescue disks or emergency disks, but it's the same thing. What is a recovery disk? Well, the name refers to a disk that you can use to boot your computer when the operating system gets mangled on your hard drive and you can't start your computer. So what you do is you pop in the recovery disk, you turn on your computer, and if the hard drive wasn't damaged, uh, you should be able to reboot or re reformat if you need and reinstall the operating system. Usually that's going to be Windows and in the case of this demonstration. That was the days before manufacturers started cost cutting. No more manuals or recovery disks. Now if you want to learn about your operating system you need to download the manual as a PDF if there's one available. And if you want a recovery disk for that inevitable emergency you're going to need to make your own. Now because Windows 11 is the operating system of the day, I'll be using it in this demonstration. By the way, recovery disks aren't really disks anymore. They're thumb drives or the memory sticks that you plug into your USB port. They're reasonably cheap and the one I bought from Amazon is 64 gigabytes, which is plenty for this purpose. I think all it says is it needs 32 and I bought it for nine dollars and sixty cents that included tax and surprisingly I probably got, found a cheaper one but I was too lazy to look uh, how much would I save three dollars or something with Amazon I had it the next day and, and shipping was free so it was a tough deal to beat at nine dollars and sixty cents well, sounds like an Amazon commercial alright here we go first I'm, I'm gonna click on the start menu button if that's what it's still called yeah it is a start Okay, now up here where the search box field is, I'm going to type uh, recovery disk. And what we see there then is create a recovery dri drive. So that's, that's it. Let's click on that. Do I want to allow this app to make changes? Well, yes, I do. Okay. Here's the recovery drive window for creating a recovery drive. Uh, now, if you can't read that, I'll, I'll read it for you. It says, even if your PC can't start, you can use the recovery drive to reset it or troubleshoot problems. If you back up system files to this drive, you'll also be able to use it to reinstall Windows. You'll note that I have the box checked, back up system files to the recovery drive, yeah, I'm not sure that there's ever a time when I wouldn't uh, check that box, but uh, it's checked. So then I click on the next button. Now what it's doing here is it's, it's looking over the hardware. It's checking all the USB ports, and it's looking to see how many external drives there are attached to this computer. When it comes back, I'm reasonably sure it's going to find two. I think I tried this uh, already and it didn't really take that long. It should, it should be. Or we can edit the video if it gets too long here. Yeah, right. This is the part where I whistle Tchaikovsky's War of 1812 Overture. Gosh, this is exciting, isn't it? There we go. Eventually it comes back like it just did and it tells me that it needs at least 32 gigabytes of memory and it shows me the available drives. Now this Seagate that it's highlighted there, that's my backup drive uh, and I, I don't want to be uh, messing around with that. So I'm going to go to this stick that I plugged in which is this one right here. I already tried this on there so it must be, it must, that's why it's calling it recovery. Uh, I'm going to click on the next button and I get the warning that everything on the drive, on the thumb drive, is going to be erased. 
do I want to do that? And I guess I do. So I'm clicking on the Create button, and now it's going to create the recovery drive. Now, the first thing it's going to do is format, there we go, it's format the drive, so that, hence the warning about erasing the files that are on it, because when it gets done formatting it, this is going to be like one clean drive. Um, then it's, it copies the utilities and it backs up the system files, and, and this is actually where we're going to break with the video from the standpoint that uh, Microsoft says this could be done possibly in a few minutes. Uh, on certain systems, I guess, or whatever, but it took about an hour on my brand new high powered Windows 11 desktop. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we won't go any farther by watching the hourglass, or not the hourglass, but the progress bar, and it hasn't even started yet. So when it's done, it tells me, you know, the cancel button probably turns to finish or something. I can't remember. I've done it before many times. And uh, then I unplug my thumb drive. I put it in a safe place, and I hope I never need to use it. Okay, is that bringing me to the end? Almost. But before I go, this is important. Note that I'm not making a backup here. I'm making a bare bones boot disk with system files and windows. Making a backup of your data files and your legal documents and things like that, that's completely different. You know, I'm going to have to look. If we don't have a video on that subject, I guarantee you we will soon. And, okay, yeah, well, that's the end of me there. There's the music telling me it's time to wrap up. I hope that if you don't have a recovery disc, this video reminds you or convinces you to make one. Then we've served our purpose. And, by the way, if you like the video, remember that we have a whole series of FAQ videos that we prepare, especially for law offices. Also, we don't get any rewards if you click on the like button. The only thing we get is a good feeling that we've been a bit of a help to you. So don't hesitate. And finally, thank you for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. And until next time, stay healthy and happy. I sincerely wish you the best.